Hello everyone, I am Asha Gur from my IPSDVV and in this video, I am going to explain you the conversion of a milling machine to a move machine. As we know that the output of a milling machine is a function of present state and present input, whereas the output of a move machine is a function of present state only. Now consider this milling machine. As we know that in milli machine, the input and output both are on the transition line, as you can see here. Whereas in move machine, the output is in the circle and the input is on the transition lines. In this example, you can see the four states Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Here, the Q1 is the initial state. As you can see, by giving input 0 to Q1 states, it will go to Q3 state and by giving input 1, it will go to Q2 states. If we are on the Q2 state, we go to Q1 state by giving input 0 and we go to Q4 state by giving input 1. If we are on the Q3 state, then by giving input 0, it will go to Q2 state and by giving input 1, it will go to Q1 state. If we are on the Q4 state, by giving input 0, it comes to the Q4 state and by giving input 1, it will go to Q3 state. Now, we have to convert this milli machine to a moon machine. So, we consider firstly Q1 states and we think we can see these two lines are coming towards the Q1 states by giving output 1. Both are the same output 1, so we consider Q1 states by giving output 1. Now comes to Q2 states. We can see these two lines coming towards the Q2 states by giving output 0 and by giving output 1. So having different outputs, we consider two separate states for output 0 and for output 1. For 0 we consider q2 0 states and for 1 we consider q2 1 state. Now comes to q3 state. We can see these two lines are coming towards the q3 states by having output 0. Because of the same output we consider the q3 states with output 0. Now on the Q4 state, we can see these two lines are coming towards the Q4 state by giving output 0 and 1. Having different outputs, we consider two separate states Q4 0 for 0 output and Q4 1 state for 1 output. Now this is time to create a move machine table with states Q1, Q20, Q21, Q3, Q40 and Q41 with outputs 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 respectively. Now by seeing this milli machine, we can draw the rest table. As we can see, by giving input 0, it comes towards a Q3 state. That's why we write here Q3 state. By giving input 1, it comes towards Q2 state. But here you can see, it will give output 0. That's why we take Q2 0 state and we write it here. Now come to Q2 0 state. Q2 0 is nothing but the Q2 state of a milli machine. When we will give output 0 to Q2 state, it will come towards Q1 state. That's why we write here Q1 state. By giving input 1, it will go to Q4 states with output 0. That's why we write the state Q4 0 here. Same for the Q2 1 state. As Q2 0 and Q2 1 are the same state of a milling machine that is Q2. That's why both the output states are same by giving the same inputs. Now Q3 state, by giving input 0, 
it will goes towards q2 state with one output that's why we write q2 one not q2 zero and by giving input one it will goes towards q1 state that's why we write here q1 state q4 zero and q4 one both will give output states as a q4 state in a milli machine that's why if we will give input zero it will goes towards q4 state with output one that's why we write here q4 one not q4 zero and by giving input one it will goes towards q3 state so we write here q3 state in this way we make the move machine table and by considering this table we can draw a move machine as we know that this states are considered in the circles with its output so we consider q1 with one output and one circle q2 zero with zero output and another circle q2 one with one output and another circle q3 with zero output in this circle q4 zero with zero output in this circle q4 one with output one in this circle now as q1 is the initial state so we start from here by giving input 0 it will goes to q3 state so we draw this line going towards q3 state by giving input 0 then by giving input 1 it will goes towards q2 0 state so we draw this line towards q2 0 by giving it input 1 then q2 0 it will goes towards q1 with input 0 so we draw this line going towards q1 with input 0 then um, if we are giving one input it will goes towards q4 0 so by giving one input it will goes towards q4 0 if we are in the q2 1 state it will goes towards q1 state with input 0 so we draw this line if we are giving one input it will goes towards q4 0 so we draw this line now on q3 state by giving input 0 it will goes q2 1 state so by giving input 0 it will goes towards q2 1 state then by giving 1 it will goes towards q1 so by giving 1 it will goes to q1 if we are having q4 0 state by giving 0 input it will goes q4 1 you can see here and by giving input 1 it will goes towards q3 as you can see here if we are on q4 1 state by giving input 0 it will goes to q4 1 only and by giving input 1 it will goes to q3 so by drawing this line we goes to q4 1 state by giving input 0 and by giving input 1 we goes towards q3 state so this is how we make a milli machine into a move machine hope it will help you thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you